Hi guys, Paul McCabe here and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to do a short video uh, about my Kangen water machine as a follow-up to my previous video that I did that was about the unboxing. I did an unboxing video of my new Kangen water machine which you can see over there and I just want to do a quick little follow-up just to tell you how I've been getting on with it. Now a little bit about me, I've been in the health and fitness scene for 27 years now um, I'm 42 years of age at the minute and I've been training since I was 15 years of age. Uh, started off doing bodybuilding, uh, I was pretty hardcore into that. Carried on doing that pretty much most of my life, not really bodybuilding now anymore, you know, at the age I'm at now it's, it's not really important to have a six pack in my mind. It's more about my health at the moment, that's kind of where I've transitioned over the years. I still do my weight, still do my heavy training. It's just about about having health and longevity because I've got two kids, two young kids. I want to still be here. I want to still be fit and healthy, and I want to be able to play with my kids. You know, my little son, he plays football. My little girl, you know, she loves running around, playing with me. So, you know, I just want to be able to to be able to do that with no worries. So, a couple a couple of years back, I looked into the water and I seen how uh, there was different qualities of water out there. Um, I wasn't happy with the fact that there's fluoride and chlorine in the water that you get in your tap, from the tap. So here in the UK, we've got chlorine and fluoride in our water. I did a bit of research into it, so I do that, I'm a, I research stuff. Uh, and I wasn't happy with those chemicals in my water. I looked at various different things to do to change that. I looked at a Brita filter. Uh, I bought a Brita filter, uh, used that. For a short time, <clears throat> for a short time, and um, discovered that the pH was slightly acidic. So I thought, well, that's not good for your health either. You're supposed to be on the higher side of 7.5, which is alkaline. So I, I didn't, I didn't, didn't use that any longer. Uh, carried on dechlorinating my water from the tap, but wasn't happy with the fluoride in it. Uh, looked at installing a reverse osmosis water filter. Um, which was uh, about seven, eight hundred pounds at the time, and discovered that that pretty much gives you dead water. It takes all the minerals, all the calcium, maybe everything out of it. Every, all the good stuff gets stripped out of the water. It's basically dead water. So I wasn't happy to do that. So I was at a bit of a crossroads, and then I discovered the Kangen water machines. And everything I've seen about it, I was really happy with. Um, and it was, you know, it was a no-brainer for me, really. I invested in the machine, got the machine, did my unboxing video, and said that I'd do a follow-up to it. Um, I've been using the machine now for approximately six weeks. And although I didn't have any health problems beforehand, I'm a relatively healthy guy, I don't really have any, I've got no health problems. I have a few, you know, ailments, I call them. Uh, you know, a few aches and pains from training. I get, I get one in my shoulder here every now and then, and I get a you know, my elbows play me up sometimes a tiny bit, but nothing really much to really complain about. I can't really complain about my health, so I can't sit here and say, you know, I've got all these health problems and this water machine's fixed it, because I, I don't have any. Um, but one thing I did notice, um, after the detox period, that is, there's a detox period when you use this machine, and it's not something I would say is pleasant. Um, it's not unpleasant, as in like, oh my God, this is horrible. You get a mild headache, you get a bit of a dry mouth and you also find yourself going to the toilet quite often and that's obviously your body flushing out you know, all the toxins in your water so it's, it's coming out um, so I noticed that and <clears throat> once that period was over I went I started off in the 8.5 water went up to the 9 and went up to the 9.5 because you've got three different alkaline candle waters on the machine um, so I did I did all three and now I'm on the 9.5 and the thing that I really noticed was actually in the gym my training performance changed it it wasn't dramatic but when you've been training as long as I have for 27 years you don't see that many changes in your training nothing really happens any longer you know it's kind of just a maintenance you're doing you just train in you just maintaining you're going in sometimes just because you have to because it's part of who you are. It's part of who I am since I was 15 years of age, going to the gym. I can't not do it any longer, I have to do it. Um, so you don't really see those changes, you know, like a young guy might go in, he's 20, 20, 21 years of age, he's got all these goals, you know, he wants to look like, 
you know, the next Mr. Olympia or, you know, he wants to, like me, I wanted to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger when I was young. That was my goal. Um, you know, that's all I used to think about. You know, I wanted to get in that shape that he was in. Um, I never actually got there, as you can see. I don't really look like Arnold Schwarzenegger yet. <laughs> I haven't given up on that dream. <laughs> um, but um, what I noticed was, my, like I say, my training. Um, <clears throat> I got slightly stronger, um, which, again, like, like I said, doesn't really happen when you're training for as long as I've been training. You don't really get stronger. You go up and down a little. Um, but what I noticed, I didn't gain any weight, but I got stronger. So I got stronger, I've not gained any weight. And I just noticed my water retention was improved, had improved, because I suffer from water retention. I eat a relatively healthy diet. I do indulge, I do enjoy my food, I do love my food. You know, like I say, I haven't got a six pack, I'm not cut, I'm not lean, ripped. I am the way I am. I enjoy my food, you know, I love cooking, you know, as you can see. I've got a nice cooker there, I do love cooking. I love cooking my Italian food, my spaghetti bolognese and various other, you know, various other things that I cook. Um, and, you know, I don't make no excuses for that. I do enjoy my food and my diet is, my diet is generally good. I eat my greens, my salad, I make sure I eat relatively healthy. And if I do indulge, I make up for it by doing a bit more training or eating a little cleaner for a few days. Um, but if I'd say go and have a burger, for example, um, I would feel really bloated from it as if um i'd had a massive meal now just to go and have a big mac from mcdonald's for example isn't exactly a big meal is it really when you think about it it's not huge it doesn't really fill you up but within half an hour or an hour my stomach would feel bloated my my trousers would feel tight and i think to myself god i can't believe this has filled me up so much where i feel bloated and it was water retention since been drinking the kango alkaline water my water retention has gone right down and I haven't really gained any any extra fat or any any extra water since I've been drinking it, since I've been drinking the alkaline water. So for me, that's just helped in that way. It's also cut down on some of the aches and pains I've been getting when I've been training. So it's actually reduced a bit of inflammation from repetitive, you know, working out all the time. Because um, it's, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like RSI really, isn't it? You're going in, you're doing the same thing sort of every week for 20 odd years you're gonna get a few issues, a few, you're gonna get inflammation in the joints and in the muscles. It's actually helped with that as well. So they're the things that I've noticed in about six, seven weeks of drinking this water. So I just wanted to give you my feedback on that. Um, I'm gonna just do a quick video over there. I'm just gonna show you the water. I'm gonna show you the hydrogen in the water. That's the other amazing thing I was quite impressed by. When you, when you pour this water out of the machine, you get an amazing amount of hydrogen bubbles in it, oxygen. Basically fills the water, it's oxygenated, which is pretty amazing. I was, I was quite, wow, this, is, this water is more than just alkaline water. And the other thing I noticed, before I forget, when I drink the water, if I drink a pint of tap water, because I do often neck a whole pint of water in one go, people say to me, how can you do that? I've been drinking water since I was, you know, since I was a kid. It's my go-to drink, water. I drink water all the time. That's why I was so interested in changing my water. And if I drink a pint of tap water, I'd feel a bit full. I could feel it in my tummy. You know, it would bloat me up, I'd feel it. When I drink the Kangen water, it doesn't bloat me. I don't feel it in there. It's actually absorbed. It goes down and absorbs into my body. And you can feel it, and it's called microclustering. And it's something you don't actually believe until you try it. And when you do it, when you try that water and it goes inside and you feel it going down, and it doesn't fill you up, you think, wow, I've just drank a pint of water and I don't feel bloated like I did. So that, that it's absorbing as it's going down. So that's the other thing I noticed about the water. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do show you a, I'm gonna show you the water um, after I pulled it out of the machine. Right, there's the machine. That's my Kangen water machine. Let's turn it on. Got it actually on 8.5 because I use the 8.5 to fill my kettle up to have my coffee in the morning. Uh, you've got your strong acidic water here and your strong acidic water comes out of this tap right here and your alkaline water comes out of this one here from the top of the machine. And your strong alkaline 11.5 water comes out of here. I'll do another video about that another time, how you can clean your fruit and veg and it strips off all the pesticides and chemicals off your fruit and veg, but I'll do another video about that. And your 2.5 acid water comes out here, and that's the water that you can use for sanitizing, 
Uh, but again, I can do a video about that another time. Today I just want to show you the water that's coming out that you drink. So I'm going to switch it to 9.5 because I'm on 9.5 now. Put it over here. Got a little diverter on my tap. Set to ion, as you can see. You can set it to tap, shower. I don't really understand the shower thing, really. I don't know why you want to shower into your tap, but there you go. And that's the machine. So we turn the tap on. What the water does is it diverts into the machine and comes out of here. There we go. Look at that water. Look at the hydrogens in there. Can you see that? Maybe it's probably better. Actually there, isn't it? You can see it better there. Look, look at that. all those oxygen bubbles in the water. That's full of oxygen that is. So there you go guys. That's what the water comes out like, full of oxygen, minerals, not dead water. It's got everything still in it, but filtered, clean, no chloride, no fluoride, no pesticides, no contaminants, nothing in the water. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys, if you do give me a thumbs up, message me if you're interested in one of these machines, if you want to change your health, you know basically change your life, because it does change your life, it's a life changing machine, and these machines last for you know up to 25 years, you know, I've heard of people having these for 25 years, so this is a machine for life, so if you're interested guys let me know and we can have a talk about it. Thank you for watching guys, subscribe and I'll see you later.